All right, guys. So I want to talk to you about a very important tool, um, and it's called, well, they're called adjustment layers. I just want to give you fair warning. I'm not going to go through all of them. One of the promises I make to you guys is that I'm only going to focus on things that I think are important in your design career. I'm trying to cut out all the fluff and just make sure that we're focusing on things that are going to move you forward quickly. So I don't want to get into all the other extra stuff that Photoshop has to offer. I only want to focus on the things that I use personally and I think that will help you. So that being said, let's go into interior copy. I'm going to select that. Now you can find adjustment layers up here in the layer and you can come down here to new adjustment layer. So this is where they all live. Now if you didn't want to go in there, you could quickly come down here to this little icon, this round circle. Click that and you have everything in there as well. So to begin with, I'm looking at this image and I feel like it's pretty dark. It's kind of dull. So I think it's got a little too much red going on and I think it could be a little brighter. Um, so I'm going to show you quickly how I would deal with those issues. So first I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go first to curves. Let's brighten it up a little bit. Now some people use levels. Some people use exposure. And you're welcome to try those out. I particularly like curves because it gives me uh, multiple options um, within this little graph over here. For instance, I could select a point here. Now this would be midtones. This bottom point would be darks. So if I wanted to bring the blacks in the image up, I could do that. Or if I wanted to bring the lights down, I could do that. And you could make multiple points inside of here. So you really have total control. Inside the levels and exposure, you're basically given two sliders, which doesn't give you much control, in my opinion. So let's, uh, let's, let's just remove that, let's start over. So curves, and what I wanna do is bring the highlights up. I'm not too concerned about what's going on outside, so I don't mind if that gets a little blown out. And I want to bring the darks. I don't, I think the darks are pretty good where they are. So let's look at the midtones. Maybe we can drop those down slightly. No, also a little too dark. So let's bring them up. And the whole point is we want people to see our interior. So that's my focus right now is just to try to get everything, all the furniture, all the products into, uh, into visibility. Now you'll notice, you know, my light is very hard to read at this point. So I want to see if I can try to make that a little bit more apparent.